Hi everyone and welcome back to Cobra Park Farm. So today we're going to be continuing with drilling the maze. You can see Chainsaw is here as usual and he's cultivating. And I'm going to jump into the drill and I'm going to go behind him and drill this field with maize as well. So we will have two fields with maize at the end of all this and they will both be silage in the end um, which will be taken to the biogas plant where we can make lots of money in the future. So I think the drill is probably be about 40% full, which I think will be enough because we use 60% on the big field, so 40% on the smaller field. Yeah, 41% should be plenty. So I think he's probably just about gone round enough times for me to start. Just don't want him to come back over where I've been because that means I'll have to re-drill it again. So, uh, yeah, much wait a few more minutes actually. Okay, that should do. So, I'm going to pull into the field, we'll get it all unfolded. And this won't be all we do today. Should be okay staying in cab view for the first bit. You can follow the edge of the field. But the reason why I'm trying to not put any more seed in this drill is because it's rented and when we lose it, we lose the seed. So if I do have to put any more in, I just have to be really careful and just put a little bit in. I'll put that down just in case, but it doesn't seem to be doing much. Follow it this time and see if it misses any. Try and keep it as central on the bonnet as I can. What's that doing? It seems to be okay. Okay, doing okay. It's probably over half the field done. Well, that is, it's way over half the field done. So, just finishing up here and then on to the next job. Okay, the JCB is done. It's going back to the yard. Um, we'll just finish off. that really big field there, number 9. I think I'm going to direct drill that one though. it would take too long to cultivate first. So that would just be probably canola. Yeah, it will be canola. Um, and then there's the field which was round the back, uh, field number 6, which will be also canola. So uh, there will be some high profit crops, hopefully, for the next few weeks. Almost exactly the right amount of seed. 3% remaining. That couldn't have been better, really. So if 
finish off on 2%. I'm quite happy with that. So, fold it up. I'm not sure if we'll need it again. We might do. But it'll obviously disappear in 24 or 23 hours now. Um, so I'll just put it back in the yard. With the other drill. And if we do need it before its time runs out, then it'd be handy that it's there. Straight back, I think. That's where the cultivator was, but it's still out somewhere. Okay, so that's okay there, and you can see the size of our barley heap. Massive. Chainsaw demonstrating there that he can reach the roof. Yeah, big heap. Right, so back into the JCB. Um, I will have to put the cultivator away. I think it's quite full in the yard there, so I might have to put it just in here if it'll fit. Hopefully it will. And I'm gonna drop that off there. And then I'm gonna go and get the fertilizer spreader. I'd like to just quickly do those two fields. Just put some fertilizer on. And it may need a top up. Yeah, it's on 67%, so a bit more. Okay. So this shouldn't take long. It's a pretty big width that this can throw at. Good working width. And yeah, there are some bits missed. I'm drilled some bits. Um, I did get better though. There were some areas which weren't done properly. But when it's all grown, it'll look fine. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. And I should be able to stay in cab view for this, hopefully. Might be a bit too close. And then when I've done this job, this is going to take probably 5-10 minutes. Um, I need to do something else. I'm just thinking what the animals, what the state of them is, because I haven't really looked at them for a while. So it might be worth just having a drive over to the two farms, just checking up on them both. We've got the chickens, we've got sheep, cows, and I think I bought some pigs. Yeah, I got some pigs. So we'll have a look at them. It's certainly much quicker than using the manure spreader, but it does cost us money. And also, we can do this after drilling, whereas the manure spreading, we should be doing it before to work it into the soil. Um, but yeah, they both have advantages and disadvantages. You can tell by my tram lines that I'm making that it's not the straightest job ever, but you know, it does the job. It's just judging where the edge is.
but this should give us much more yield out of our crop hopefully okay on to the final part then kinda get that all in one mm, just about Right, so 27% remaining, we're going to have to go and get some more, I think. And this tractor has got dirty very quickly. So, I'll fill it up, and then we'll do field and break, this one just here. And then I'll give it a wash, and then we'll go and see the animals. Might as well do 100%. Okay. So, this field is considerably smaller. I'll just go further out. Should be able to do this in just a few runs. I have to say, it feels weird having the fertiliser spreader sort of behind the wheels. I mean, obviously you have them behind the wheels on all tractors, but you can actually see the wheels, and then you've got the spreader. Whereas normally you sit on top of the wheels, and then the spreader's directly behind you. I've not done any spreading in a fast track before, so it certainly feels different. Almost getting all that, but not quite. This field does look a lot bigger though when it's actually got crops in. When it's been cultivated and drilled, it seems a lot smaller. Right, so I should get all this in one. Yeah, that's fine. And then finally, and I've got a bit over there, uh, there's this bit up here, and uh, we'll just finish off over there, and then that is filled complete. And then we'll be able to let it grow, and we'll harvest it, and uh, do some silage. So that's something to look forward to. Right, I'll just turn that off. Okay, there we go. So we'll just drop this off and then uh, give the tractor a quick wash. And then since this is the fast track, we'll zoom over to probably Chantry Farm first and then over to Yatton Ridge. Okay, it drops it from a great height. Uh, yes, a pressure washer. I think that's almost complete. Yeah, still a bit of mud there. There we go, that's clean. Okay. I 
make sure the beacon's on. Good. And uh, over to Chantry Farm. Oh, how's this field here doing? Oh, it's uh, slowed down. It grew really quick to that stage and then seems to have really slowed down. Back to the normal slow growth rate. And we do have still quite a lot of fields which we can harvest. Um, I will have to check which ones they are. But there are a few. Okay, there are our sheep and our cows are over there and I'm going to look in the information panel to have a proper look at how much they've got water wise and feed wise but I do prefer actually going up to them and having a look uh, right so sheep they have got they have got uh, some in their feeding trough and they've also got water so that's fine they've also got 29% wool so that will have to be done at some point. The cows have got quite a lot of manure. Some, well, some some manure, quite a lot of liquid manure. Uh, they've got no mixed ration, so we will have to look at doing that at some point. And they've got lots of silage and some grass, so that's fine. They've also got water. They will have to have some straw, and the milk will have to be sold as well. Uh, the chickens, let's just have a look at them. We don't have many of them, so I wouldn't expect too much. We've got a few in the backpack, but otherwise the eggs there aren't really much much to do with that and finally the pigs okay we have no pigs that's really weird that should have saved we did buy a load of pigs hmm oh well we'll just have a quick look at these yeah they're fine they're fine good they should be uh, good for a few more days yes I think so we'll shut the gate and just have a look at the cows actually we could do with a bit of a clear up in this yard that tether is still out that is the tether which was weirdly spawning in the middle of the yard so we'll just put that away the trailer is still on, that is still rented, so that will be disappearing fairly soon, I'd imagine. Otherwise, I think, for this farm, we're okay. Nothing else we should be looking at. And the cows, yeah, they're fine. Um, we'll just have a look to see how much they need mucking out. Okay, they're fairly good there. We'll have to do that in the next few days and then we'll give some more straw as well. So, yeah, that is actually it for today. I didn't have a great deal to do because I was just finishing off the uh, drilling and then obviously doing the fertilizer spreading as well. Check it up on the animals. And now I'm really just waiting for everything to grow and the animals seem to be fine getting on on their own so that will do us for today so thanks for watching everyone and you can join me again for more Cobra Park Farm this time tomorrow thanks for watching and bye for now